and welcome over to Darlington for um, race uh, number. As I find out what the race is, as I do apologize for not uh, remembering it beforehand. Uh, 26 uh, uh, of the NR 2003. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, 26 of the NR 2003. Um, PMU Cup Series, uh, season six. We are we are coming to a close. We're coming very near to the end of the season, and the championship is still uh, going down to the wire. And uh, so far, things are looking good uh, right there for some of the drivers in the, in the chase as we continue our races forward. But right now, we are at Darlington for. A bit of a throwback race. Um, obviously, this is uh, not going to be the official throwback race because we're lacking a lot of schemes here. So, um, so yeah, we, we, you will see a few uh, schemes uh, on this race uh, that on the drivers will be racing or racing with. So, uh, so um, in that case, let's get on with it right now. So. Oh, and not to forget, for those who don't know, that um, for those who are in the Discord should should remember. But uh, for those who haven't, I'll tell you that the uh, the season seven calendar has been unveiled. <coughs> so uh, season seven, we will have uh, twenty nine races, and um, the 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 season will be largely the same, with a few uh, notable exceptions. And the one notable exception is that. Uh, Martinsville will not be returning uh, next season and it will be replaced by a new round called the North Wilkesboro Speedway. Yes, the North Spe North Wilkesboro Speedway will be uh, joining the calendar for the first time ever in the series. And there's also another addition to, uh, well, there's another addition to um, <clears throat> the season that will replace uh, one of the rounds of the season. As uh, Rockingham UK um, will be replaced by another English round in the UK that would be another oval track, quite unusually, at Mallory Park. So Mallory Park will replace uh, Rockingham UK from next season. And also uh, Talladega, um, one of the Talladega rounds, the second Talladega round, will be uh, removed from next season that makes the the season uh, 29 races so anyway so let's get this done over with <coughs> okay i have a bit of a unusual cold here my nose is a bit runny now so uh don't know what's going on down here i guess it happens at a bad time so uh so i'm just double checking everyone else to make sure everyone is okay so right now we should just Head on with it with the race. Right. Who will call far on pole for today's race? I'm Drivers just gonna to your car. have everyone take their picks before I start making a move. And so we are. John Palmer surprisingly takes the pole. Here at Darlington, Albrecht Strass will start alongside him in, in second place. Blake Parker will start from third place. Carl Vold is fourth. Maddox, last race winner in, in fifth. Kendrick Meeks uh, is uh, currently uh, the leading candidate of, uh, the, currently the leading contender of uh, the race. Does he start from sixth, I think? I don't know about Blake Parker, but my mind's just playing me up again. Actually, let me check about... Uh, Blake Parker is he in the chase? Because I'm my mind's always uh, begetting these things. Do, do, do. No, he's not. So Blake Parker isn't in the chase. So my bad. But anyway, let's let's get on with it. So so Roberto Carn Jr. We'll start seven with Camrade Senior A, Tari Lowell Knife, and Ray Ayanami 10th, although your top 10 starters and the rest. Um, as you can see. Oh, um, Drew Walker will start last. We'll start 
near near last place. That is quite shocking. And a few other ones as well. Anyway, let's get this done and over with. Now, I've managed to fix uh, the problem of not being able to use the keys. As, I'm, as you're seeing right now, I'm able to use them now. Basically, I think I just need to change the window. And uh, this is the window I've not done before. I was, this is a full... I'm, 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 I'm doing the races full screen from now on. Rather than just using the window screen. So, with that, it solved the problem. So... I want to try from there and see if it will work. So if, if if it works well for me. So anyway, so let's get on with it. With the most famous words in motor racing. Here we are. Drivers! Start your engines! Here we are. All the cars are now revving. I'm ready to go. Pace truck starts moving and away we and away we go, at least for the formation lap or the pace lap. Let's take a look at some paint schemes. We have a, a few paint schemes to show you guys. There's David Dixon, you can see uh, very closely. He's on a, he, a throwback scheme. I don't know what throwback scheme is that, but that's his scheme for the race and there is the uh, Kendrick Meeks over there you might have seen him uh, in the last race with that scheme on that was accidentally been put in that race but this will be his official race with that scheme and I guess that's all so a couple of drivers will be racing in their throwback schemes as for the rest oh everyone here we are away we go and um, we're, we're now gone green so quite shocking uh, um, front row start for John Palmer, Albert Stroh, Albert Stroh immediately gets, immediately loses it now, looks as though some of the cars are now already losing the tyres already, they're, they're trying to get you to the tyres and so on, because when you start, you have nowhere to go, you probably have no time to try and save much on the tyres, but anyway, Blake, Blake Parker up into second place, John Palmer still in the lead, so this is a, a Ford 1 2 now. Joey Maddox, last race winner, up into third place. Albert Strauss trying to get back, and he does easily take back that third position. And Roberto Crown Jr. gets past him for fifth place. Fourth place, I mean, my bad. Let's we take a look back and see. So. So everyone appears to start well at the moment. What happened to Leland Hill? That's a big question mark. I don't know how he started, but we'll find out. I, I don't know where he where, where he started. It might have been my mistake, but so who knows? Might have been I missed him for whatever reason, so. Okay, he did. Didn't start that great. Anyway. So, Blake Parker is trying to get around the 21 car. We're on lap 4 now. Palmer 
seems to have a very clear bully down here. We've got to keep an eye on those cars. Some cars are getting close to the wall. So sometimes it's it's hard to keep it's hard to, to have grip on the tire, especially when you're on this track right there. This track is very banky. So you're gonna have some expertise of using your tires if you want to race properly here at this track at Darlington. And the gap is slightly opening up. The John Palmer quite unusually. up here the entire levels joining in the thing he just gone past Joy Maddox in the 90 car Cat Rose almost got her suddenly under the wall and Juni gets past her for 18th place I think no 17th my bad it's hard to keep update with the positions live and it looks as though the gap is closing in between John Palmer and Blake Parker and Albrecht Strauss seems to be uh, joining as well for what could be a battle for the lead so after eight laps, it seems as though the John Palmer's lock is quickly running out. And I guess Albert Strauss is giving the forward car of Blake Parker push and he does get past him. First, second place. And here comes Roberto Crown Jr. When you get past the Downington, it's always twice as heartbreaking when it comes to losing positions. And looks like Roberto Crown Jr. is not giving up. Oh my gosh, what happened? Is there a caution? I just saw smoke coming up. That might be such a coin junior, but for some reason there is no caution. Let's let's see what's we'll find out what's happened. Oh, maybe that's not a caution. Ooh, was it a caution? I don't know, but look at such a coin junior. Somehow bumped right into the back of Kenzie Simmons and he took himself out. Kenzie Simmons was quite lucky down there to not suffer any more damage or get herself clipped onto the wall by the number 20 car, Cesar Cohen Jr. I think uh, Cesar Cohen Jr. gave Kenny Simmons exactly no space at all, almost exactly no space for Simmons to make a move somehow. And she had no choice but to risk herself and get, I think she got bumped onto the wall or perhaps Cesar Cohen Jr somehow clip right into the side of her well the rear side of her and uh just giving didn't give her enough room yeah she she got here onto the wall as a result of uh, sister cohen jr not giving her any space and we do have a caution we'll find out We'll find out what happened. So let's take a look at this caution and then what? Well, at this collision, we might see another collision after that. So we're going on board Sister Quinn Jr. right now. You can see close call for Kansas Simmons despite a bit of damage left from her. Took him 
himself out. Let's find out what happened next. Some car doing fine. Let's see. You know what? Let's keep going from there. And you can see Albert Strauss getting really close to the number 21. I think before he was about to make a move, the caution came out. Oh my gosh, mass collision. Oh my gosh, Miyazaki and Gonzalez and everyone else. What happened? Oh my gosh, someone flipped out. Oh my gosh, what happened? That is, that must be A.G. Juni. Took Miyazaki out. He, he clipped him on the rear and he sent him spinning around. And then he got hit by the other cars. causing a mass collision. Bump goes Xander Howell. That, that's his championship hopes running. Oh my gosh, and Gonzalez gets with Liam Hill as well. Got him for, and his brother. That, that his brother right behind him. He also hit right the back of him. That is unbelievable to say the least. What's hap how did it all happen down there? Is this the worst mass collision we've ever seen here at this track? We've not seen a lot of uh, of caution involving such wrecks like this, and this has happened. Then how had the bomb? Ooh, Churnside was quite lucky down there. And Mulaney. Oh my God, and Tan as well also got involved. Well, that's a that's very heartbreaking to see. Let's take a look at another angle. So Dex Miyazaki. Xander Howe goes bumps and the goes. Oh my God! Seniors well got involved. I didn't see Senior properly, but this has happened. Gonzalez goes bump. He was flying. He, he rolled on his roof. There's Gonzalez. Oh, and Lane Hill gets bumped. <laughs> he, he, he got rear headed by his brother, he, by his younger brother. Just because he, he couldn't, he couldn't make it. A look at the reigning world champion Cam Racing who also got involved. That's certainly gonna hurt him.
Oh, luck, just quite lucky, almost lucky, but he just escaped with a rear uh, damage. So he was quite lucky. And what happened? Was it what happened? Did I just saw what happened to us? Be a penny, and uh, that must be Dunhain as well. What happened to them two? I think maybe they tried to water something, or something is broken between these two. Oh, well, I think Dylan Hayden also had contact, but yeah, he has a bit of damage on the front as a result. Anyway, um, don't know if we're gonna get any uh, uh, pit stops. We'll have to see. And there are going to be pit stops. Very early pit stops in this race. So, who's retiring? We'll find out who's retiring. Let's see who's going to come out first. So, Miyazaki has been confirmed retired. And Gonzalez has also been confirmed retired. And Riley Hill has been confirmed retired, and so does Damien Tan. And Sink Xander Howell is also retired. And uh, Halawe, Giuliano, also retired. Quinn Mullaney also retired from that collision. And Juni is set to be lapped. I guess he got what he deserved for causing that collision. And we'll be coming in this lap. The car, the safety, the pace truck will be coming in this lap. And we'll restart the race. And away we go. Here we go, and looks as though there's going to be a bit of a struggle for some cars trying to get past Judney, but Palmer makes it easy for for, 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 for Judney now, and everybody else. I think Judney's trying to be nice down there, but that is going to be quite a challenge for him to, to you know, get us to give space to everyone else around there. Anyway, Palmer still leads. Oh, and Paddy, Sophia Paddy also retires, quite surprisingly. Strauss getting close to the 21. What will he do? Will he make it? Does it look like it at the moment? Oh, and Drew Walker. What happened to Drew Walker? He's been hell laps down. What happened to Drew Walker? He somehow, I think he had problems in the pits. Maybe it's because of the damage he's involved in that collision. That could explain why. So Paul Drew Walker, another heartbreak. He's he's set to score no points again. Drew Walker, last 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 race he retired from the race. And now he's not probably not gonna score any points from then. At least of today. Anyway, lap 18 and John Palmer still leads at the moment.
Oh my gosh, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, that was a close call. I just saw this happening. Churnside oh, almost caused a collision with Joy Maddox. Let's take a look at that replay. Well, that was a close call. Let's take a look at the. I think Churnson might have gone push, sending Maddox onto the wall. That was just a light hit onto the wall. John Maddox was able to get his car going again, so does Churnside. So, lucky day for these two as of now. And is that Alejo? I think he got bumped or something. Anyway, back to the front. John Palmer still leads at the moment. I think Blake Parker is trying to give the 44 a push. Look at these three, four now. Now getting close together behind John Palmer. And he's getting even closer for Albert Estrada. Will we have a new leader coming up? Will we see a new race leader? They're still clinging onto the back of John Palmer. What does Albert Estrada do? Oh, slow. Oh my gosh, a bump. That was a bump. I think I think someone might have pushed the brakes a bit too early. And thanks a lot. Varders now loses the position to Tari Lowell. That was a that was a close bump. Oh my gosh. And that would mean that this whole pack uh, this whole pack of cars are now spacing out now. As a result of that somewhat close call. Now Black Strike is going to try again on the 21 car. He's trying to pass, but I don't know what he was doing down there. He gives a slight tap on the 21. I don't know what strategy it is. It might have been, I don't know, bump drafting or some sort. He might be bump drafting 21 so that he can get reacted to some sort of negativity. As he's potentially under threat of getting passed by the... Uh, the, the number 44. Let's go on board nine. He's probably to be into the bank and any, anything happened to these four in the front. way of getting past as of yet. see John Palmer it appears to me that he is dying to lose grip now Strauss still has the opportunity but for when he's getting so close but he's not reacting anything as of yet he's still bumping in the back of John Palmer don't know what he's doing around there but 
It seems as though that nothing's really happening at the three. They appear to be battling, but they're not actually not. So I don't know what's going on, but there is something going along. I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, look at that. Tyree Lowell. Oh my gosh. Incredible drive for Lowell. He appears out of absolute nowhere. And he takes two positions in one go. What a go to jump for Tyree Lowell. Maybe he's the one he's going to try and, and master onto the number 21. If only he can get away from the, the two behind him. Now somehow we need a bit of drafting. What happened? Oh, I thought something happened at the back. Here comes Tyree Lowell on the number 21. You can see John Palmer going a bit wide now. Tyler is going to try and take it this time. We've seen no reaction from Albert Strauss, but will Tyree Lowell react to any of it? Tyrell Lowell, show me what you've got. Here comes Tyrell Lowell. He goes for it. He goes for it. And John Palmer loses positions. Not just one, but three positions. Well, that's how what you get when you, you get past. When you get past, you lose number of positions. Well, this is a slightly different challenge in terms of track, I guess. Slightly different challenge here where getting past means you get past big time anyway Tyrell up to a big lead now he was able to master his uh, his expertise and finally get past um, the number 21 car and they, then this gives Albert Strasman and Blake Parker a chance to, to pass the tom number 21 as well the 21 car is now down into fourth place there's Ryan Army. She's uh, climbing up a little bit, probably trying to assist her team here in front of in front of her, who's currently in the lead right now. This could be a huge breakthrough season for Tyrell Lowell. We've seen huge resurgences in his career since last season. He won his first race in in five seasons. Now he's winning multiple races this season. Thank God. Will we see any more of him? John Palmer up back into third place. Gone past Blake Parker. Looks as though we have a huge uh, pile up, I think, for... Uh, I think for a one position, I don't know, but you can see they are absolutely so close to each other now. So let's take a look. Oh, Ryan and Army goes a bit wide. Jack Halleck, who he was almost about to, to make a pass on the 18, but not yet. We're going on board, James Jameson.
Jasper Strauss we just seen right now at the front. He is has joined Tyrell Lowell for the lead. Abla Strauss spends several seasons in his career and not winning a race just yet. But this could be the day for him to get past the, ninth, the, the number nine. But who knows, anything can happen. Now that a big gap is opening between uh, the two drivers and the rest of the field. And here comes Albrecht Strauss with his overtaken opportunity. Will he go for it? He does go for it. Albrecht Strauss now in the lead. And he gets up front easy as he can. He got past Tyrell Lowell. pressure on Blake Parker as in I mean John Palmer from Blake Parker he doesn't like being in the back of John Palmer and Solomon Sharon gets past Rain and Army it's like Rain and Army slowing down now well, he's, she's losing grip now. Here comes Blake Parker on 21 car of John Palmer and he does get past. But does John Palmer respond? I don't think he will respond. Looks a little violent. It's, it's not also a threat. But John Palmer is able to save his position as of now. From, from car bars at least. So he lost uh, one position there. Now he's down into uh, fourth place now. Now car bar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are they doing? I think Varders. Are they trying to overtake on the outside? I think Vardis' draft is, is now giving uh, John Palmer the advantage of, of passing Blake Perker onto the outside. But that would not work as, uh, oh my gosh, and looks as though that I think Vardis' uh, judgment doesn't seem to be working well. And thanks to him, Roberto Crown Jr. does get past both of these cars. Now he's up into fourth place. Oh, Blake Perk, I mean, John Palmer and, and Carl Fodders. Oh my God, does Carl Fodders, may no, he does not. Jack Halleck bumped right in front of him, right into him. Will the other cars get around him? I think they will. Oh, Zimbala. Oh my gosh, then another collision. Yeah, that is a caution. That is a caution. But oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lap 41, we have another caution. Just what, look what had happened to John Palmer and uh, 
Hold on. Yeah. What had happened to John Palmer and what had happened to uh to Carl Vardas? Carl Vardas just lost it. Let's see. It was so high up. In terms of position, you can see how it happens if Vardas tries to get past uh, John Palmer, but basically John Palmer some clues onto the wall that basically he just uh, lost it, so anyway, let's take a look at the replay hang on, let me do something okay, that's better, so right, let's take a look now, so uh, how it all happened Yeah, John Palmer went onto the wall, so high onto the wall, he just hit the wall, and then taking Vardas with him, Vardas gets hit, and then got hit by Jack Halleck. And then Simula also got it, a lot of the cars tried to avoid him. See what happened to John Palmer. Is he all right? seeing pit stops right here at this lap this is a very good time for everyone to pit let's see who will come out first Albert Schultz comes out first, Lowell second place, Blake Parker third, and the Sun in fourth. I think John Palmer now has problems. I think he, it's been reported that uh, John Palmer does have a bit of problem. I think they're trying to repair a bit of damage that has been causing that collision. And he came out of the pits pretty late. So Jack Haddock has been confirmed retired. I think Vardis is going to carry on. We'll find out where he is. Let's see. Yeah, he does have problems uh, as he came into the pits. So we'll find out later if he's going to... Oh, he, he's coming out. So yeah. So there were some problems uh, involving the damage of him because of that collision. And we have the buffer ahead of the, ahead of the leading pack. Drew Walker is right there. We're gonna go green shortly with 29 laps to go, about 30 laps to go. The pace truck now pulls in. A 
So what happens next, we don't know, but away we go for the last 30 laps here at this race. So how will everyone react to Drew Walker? Is Drew Walker going to do anything? Still, they're all still right behind Drew Walker. So I don't know if Drew Walker is going to try and maybe go around the rest of the field. Or just want to be himself, I suppose. So, but anyway, so Albert Trust still lead. Tyrell well in second place still. He's got a bit of advantage now. He's got the buffer ahead of it. Ahead of, ahead of, ahead of Albert Trust. So that's a good opportunity for perhaps more multiple lead changes. It's only showing up to fourth place. Walker is getting away. I guess he's maybe he came to the pits earlier or later. I don't know. And he somehow had better pace, so I guess it's not a threat to the rest of the pit as long as he carries on in that sort of pace from then. Anyway, the number 44 still leads at the moment. Ooh, looks as though Roberto Crunchy is trying to get around the number 11 of Simon Sheridan for fourth place. The Sheridan starts closing the door on the on the 61 car. laps to go. Is Blake Parker a threat to Tori Lowell? We know how difficult it is to pass here at this track. Here comes Sheridan on the O2 car. And he gets passed. And so does Roberto Crown Jr. Sheridan up at the third place now. Ooh, what happened? I see smoke. I just saw some smoke. What happened? We'll find out.
Look if I saw some smoke. I knew it. I just I thought that something just something just happened, but at least that didn't cause a collision. Lane Hill got sent onto the wall by Flunder Wilson, and that was a bit of an echo from the crashes we've seen here in this race. But this time they saved um, themselves. Now Flunder Wilson somehow got away with damage. Lane Hill is the one who suffered the more of the consequences. back up front with our black straw still in the lead now black straw is opening up a gap so I guess he's probably the lucky man here how fast they are. Things are looking pretty good for the Alpha Farber Strass as we are coming up to less than 20 laps to go. Still could be anybody's race if uh, things does happen in the next 19 laps. does and Sharma Sheridan now in second position so we don't know he might be on the charge will he be the one to chase down or play Strauss? he might have the time but does he actually have the time to do so we can only wait and see how it progresses from there he's got quite a gap between Strauss and and the 11 car Let's take a look at how fast they're going. Uh, so it seems to me that Sharma Sheridan is getting a bit faster uh, than the leader now. But still only time can tell and how all luck plays out. And uh, a, a and Army is up into fifth place. Back up into fifth place. 
and David Dixon is uh, up in uh, in seventh place, so he's in a very good position. And where on earth he actually came from? We haven't seen, we have not seen much of uh, David Dixon uh, in this race. But let's take a look and see how how he how he's done. Yeah, since uh, since the caution, he's been starting from tenth position. He's been going up the order. So it seems as though that he's doing really well in his championship campaign despite not winning a race. He's still a strong contender of a, of a victory. Of a race victory, I mean. And he's up in seventh place. And he's right there. This could be crucial for his championship hopes. But what does Simon Sheridan do? Will he go after Strauss? It seems to me that the the gap's already increasing. I don't know what's going on between the 11 and the, and the 44. You can see. You can see this gap is already increasing. Yeah, you can see it is going to increase some more. But he needs, Tom Sheridan needs to have the time. It may be due to the fact that he's using a lot of his tires. Not is using the less of his tires because of the fact that he's leading. Unless maybe he's working, he, he, he's trying to work himself off to try and keep that position uh, on him. As we go on board, uh, we're currently still on board, so I'm going to show him to see how he's going to how he's going to get to our Strauss in the next ten laps. Now it seems it doesn't seem that the gap is decreasing between the two. It's probably more stable now. So unless something happens to Albert Strauss, time is running out for Sheridan. So would Albert Strauss get his first race win? Will Simon Sheridan steal it away from him at the very last moment? We can only hope and see. Go. Things are looking better for the 44. Look at this battle. Let's take a look at this battle. Ryan and Army up into third place now. And he's battling against Roberta Cren Jr. and her team at Terry Lowell.
five laps to go. Looks like there's no way that uh, oh, oh, there's no way that Albert Schultz is going to get caught by Sean and Sheridan. Probably likely enough he's going to have to settle for second place and just let Albert Schultz have his first win ever in the series. If only Strauss can push on for just another five laps, then this race, this race will be his. Four laps to go. Coming up to the penultimate lap of the race. is coming up. Just one last turn and that's it. Downturn is about to come to an end as Albastros is about to cross the line and his cha he his chances have been secured and here we go he crosses the line in first place first win for Strauss here at the at Darlington here at Darlington Summer Sheridan second place third place AM a great drive for her fourth place Tyrell Well Rodecran Jr. fifth, Dixon sixth. I think he's closing up to his championship now. I need to see what's going on in terms of points because I don't know what's going on in terms of points. Eighth place, a great drive from Noel Hamilton. Ninth place, Cam Wright Jr. and tenth place, I think it's Nikki Rav. Well, what a great drive we have. I mean, it was quite a good race. We had a few cautions going along and quite a few surprises. Surprises. So, Albrecht Strauss finally wins the race. Simon Sharon, second place. A9 third, Lowell fourth. Um, Roberto Crown Jr. fifth, David Dixon sixth, Kendrick Meek seventh, Nola Hamilton eighth, Cameron Jr. ninth, and Nikki Rab tenth, Jameson eleventh, Cohen Jr. twelfth. Um, 13th, A.G. Judney, 24th, John Palmer, uh, 15th, Cat Rose, 16th, Kenzie Simmons, 17th, Daniel Bouchard, 18th, Austin Leung, 19th, Alright, Alrighty, Elijo, 
20 of Joy Maddox, 21st Lando Wilson, 22nd uh, Avery Hamilton, 23rd Cameron Senior, Lola Churn, the 24th, Lynn Hill, 25th, Carl Vara, 26th, Cecilia Manala, Shane, 27th, and Dylan Hayden, 28th. Do that all your point scorers. And there you have it. Let's take a look at the fastest lap time. It's going to be Drew Walker, quite unusually. Oh my gosh! This is the first time we've seen two drivers have joined fastest lap here at Darlington. Great history we've seen. Nikki Rob and Drew Walker will both take home joint fastest lap times. What a record. That's the first time I've seen right now. What am I seeing right now? A 1997 European Grand Prix moment we've seen two we, we, we've seen two drivers posting equal lap times exact equal lap times and <clears throat> here in one race that was fastest lap time back in the 1997 European Grand Prix we was qualifying where we see three drivers uh, matching lap times for Paul that was unbelievable so join fastest lap times for the first time ever in the series what a day to end right now so congrats to Albrecht Strauss for winning his first race and uh, what a day we've had today so coming up next I think we'll be Richmond our first ever race at Richmond I don't know when I'm gonna I'm gonna do Richmond maybe later tonight or tomorrow we'll wait and see so anyway let's get this done racked up another way so Thank you everyone for watching Darlington and we shall hopefully see you next race at Richmond. Take care everyone and I shall see you all there.